Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Elaine and I'm the owner of LBE. Okay, y'all, so I am going to take y'all on my shopping journey. At least I'm gonna try to anyway. Y'all know how some places don't like you to record, so um, there may be some voiceovers in between this video or whatever. But um, so just to give you a bit of ideas, of course, I know y'all can see that kind of where you see the Ross, <laughs> my one number one go to store. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Marshalls here. If y'all can kind of see that right there. Um, my number two go-to store. Um, and then I have World Market, which is like literally in walking distance from this trip. Um, this is the normal area that I come to uh, on a regular basis when I am um, shopping for clothes and gifts. Um, because it honestly depends on what the client what my client wants for his client or or her client um ross is my go-to for my baskets um for closing gifts because most of the time my closing gifts are pretty big um and the, the containers that i find are like dollar general walmart places like that they're not big enough so i have to branch out to my next best thing which is ross um and if i can't find one at ross most likely i'll find one at marshall's um so I just tag team between the two. I shop at both of them at the same, well, not the same time, but you know what I mean? Like I don't try to buy everything in Ross because there's always something in Marshalls that I can pick up. So, I mean, they kind of got similar stuff, but then again, they don't. So um, both of them are my go-to stores whenever I'm preparing, especially for large closing gifts. And after small closing gifts, I can pretty much pull that off with most of the things that I have at home. Um, but for these particular gifts, there's no way. Like, I, I can't keep this type of stuff in, in stock. One, I don't have nowhere to store them big old baskets. <laughs> That's first and foremost. Um, but Ross always has a great price for their baskets and stuff like that. So, I always go to them. So, with that said, uh, looks like Ross is still not open yet. I'm trying to look at my oh it's I'm looking at my car 953. Okay, so I still got a few minutes before Ross opens up. So I'm actually gonna go into Marshall's. I really don't want to do that because my number one thing and my number one rule when it comes to these gifts is to get the container first. <laughs> because you end up buying something that don't fit or just don't set right with the container, not the same style as the container, even though it's just one solid color, the container or the basket. It's still the style of the basket. The items you pick up don't set right. So as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to stay here and wait for Ross to open up first. So that I can see if they have a container and if it's large enough and if it's something that I want to work with. And then we'll go to Marshall's and we'll see what additional items they have um, that I can add into that basket. So I cannot give you guys the budget for the basket. Y'all know my rule. I respect my clients and my customers budgets so I'm just gonna show, show y'all what I pick up um, and just walk y'all through the process of preparing a closing gift for someone that sells a nice house <laughs> stay tuned Okay, y'all, so if y'all hear music in the background, I apologize. Um, I do not own the right to sell some music. I'm just out here in the middle of stores. Um, but I came to tell you guys that I had to come to um, Marshall's because the container selection in Ross today was just not given. 
Um, so hopefully I can find one in um, Marshalls to give me what I need. So let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Jelaine. I'm on the LBE. Okay, y'all, so we back um, from our eventful <laughs> day yesterday. Um, just want to give you like a, a little thorough run through of everything that was purchased yesterday and stuff that was not purchased yesterday. Um, stuff that I have on hand. Um, I'm probably going to end up adding a few more things to this basket. Um, you know, when the client gives you a budget that gives you wiggle room, I'm going to need for you to wiggle. I mean, that's just my advice. Don't hold back just to make you know uh just don't don't hold back it's all i'm telling you <laughs> anyway
anyway, uh, just go over the few things. I always add a throw blanket into the um, the baskets, and I looked up and found these at Walmart here recently. Um, and if you go to your Walmart, just scan them. Uh, some of these are not in the clearance section and do not have clearance tags on them, but they are ringing up clearance price. Um, and I learned that from the gift basket group I'm in, DIY fashion gift baskets, I believe. Uh, someone mentioned about blankets, and I went and I was able to, me and my mom were able to find some. Um, I actually found this. This is a king size. I found several king sizes for five dollars. Uh, they were originally 28 marked down to seven, and then you scan it, they were scanning, ringing up five dollars. So, of course, we cleared the shelf for what they had, which wasn't much, but hey, we took what we can get. Um, and then they also had some for a dollar. Um, so anyway, found those. So that's definitely going to go in there. Um, and as you can see by the items that I was picking up yesterday, the color scheme I was going with, trying to stay within a natural color scheme, something bright, something that won't like darken their home, their new home. Because I'm pretty sure most people like to have like the, the you know, the, the tall windows or the open windows, the open light, the sunlight, the natural look or whatever. So that's what I always go for. Um, when I'm looking at, uh, at items to put in a closing gift, um, and then, you know, when you're paying for like a four five bedroom house, you want to put something nice in there anyway. So, um, I went with these towels to kind of coexist with the oven mitts, just keeping it natural. I, I like to use a lot of white, um, when it comes to closing gifts because you don't know the color scheme of the client or the recipient and you just don't want to put a whole lot of like reds and blues and stuff like that in there when you don't know what they're going for so i try to stay away from that if you do do a blue sort of like this right here this is what the pop of color i decided to go with so as you can see it kind of coexists with everything that's blended in with the gray blanket um with the towels with the white y'all see how that's flowing um so just keep your colors flowing if you're not familiar with how to do that, you know, look at a couple pictures off of Pinterest, check a couple of my baskets out, you know, to go a long way. Um, these are from my home decor stash that I have from Dollar General. Uh, penny shopping and 90% off shopping. Um, these I know for a fact I paid 90% for, so they were a um, dollar a piece. Um, but I do have a few home items that I paid a penny for because nobody, I guess nobody wanted them, but I knew what I do. And what I do is make home gifts. So, <laughs> came in handy for me. Thank you for leaving it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, of course, you guys seen this from uh, Marshalls. I always go with a little bit of greenery and I always use eucalyptus. I just think eucalyptus is like the best greenery for closing gifts. If you want to add some, you don't have to. But just in case you want to add a little touch of pop of, you know, extra color, go with eucalyptus. That's my own advice. You ain't got to follow it. I'm just saying. I don't want nobody coming for me telling me that everybody don't do that. That's fine. If everybody don't do it, they just don't do it. Uh, so anyway, um, got this lemon fresh uh, um, kitchen refresher. Um, I smelt every last one of these to make. <laughs> I had to make sure they smell good. I don't like putting stinky stuff in people. I mean, they, this still might not be their own preference, but hey, it was good enough for me. And of course, I love the packaging on it. Um, and these were only like four dollars for this big old bottle. Um, also, I always add some dish liquid, and the only dish liquid I go with is Myers. Um, some people may like it, some people may not, but that's just what I choose to put in clothing gifts, um, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, I do not put any other type of cleaning items in there, no detergent, no, none of that, because that stuff, you don't know the people's preference. You don't know what kind they use. Some people may use Piracel, some use Tide, Angel Soft, I mean, no, not Angel Soft, <laughs> um, any of the other brands and you don't know so don't guess and buy all that stuff and then you never use it or you have to use it for home and you just pretty much wasted all your money um also put dry mats in there try to keep it within the color scheme as you can see everything's blended in there's a gray one on the back and then it has a nice little um bluish gray design on the front so it blends in with everything um dollar tree finds i always get these they're re uh usable all they have to do is throw them in the washing machine, wash them, and reuse them. They're cleansing cloths. Um, they're eco-friendly. Trying to get you closer to what it looks like. Um, and I always put at least two packs of that in the baskets. Um, Y'all saw the towel set. I always go with white. Um, well, I take that back. Sometimes I'll go with like a light gray or, or something similar to the color of the basket. Or maybe a little lighter. 
So I'll I'll go with that every now and then. But mainly I go with white because like I said, you don't know their color scheme, you don't know what they're flowing with. Go with something that blends in with everything. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um another thing I'm going with is this bed trays. Y'all have seen these before in my previous videos. These came from Target Dollar Spot, they were five dollars a piece. Um now you probably not gonna find these now because these were out like about two years ago, I think is when I bought them. Yeah, had to be like two years ago if not three um and i just kept them i bought them before closing gifts kept them on hand i've used some um for um christmas and then i have a few left so um went with this um uh, five dollars for this um also i usually get spoons from ross i always go with wooden spoons that's just my own preference it's worked for me for all these years that I've been doing clothing gifts. And it's, hey, that's what I go with. I don't have no complaints. Um, so anyway, I always go to Ross to get mine. But Ross was just not giving me life. They only gave me life for tiles and cutting, and cutting boards. That's it. That's all I could find that was beneficial to this basket in there. Um, so I had to go with my second option, which is Dollar Tree. Um, and I've used Dollar Tree wooden spoons plenty of times. Uh, especially when I can't find them at Ross. But Dollar Tree has stepped up their game, y'all. Have y'all seen these new wooden spoons? So, the wooden spoons have handles on them. And they're rubber handles, which makes it easy to grip. And you can cook so much better with these. So, of course, I had to pick up the whole set. And luckily for me, within the budget, I'm, I was able to, you know, purchase all the whole set of them. Um, and I really, really like this buy. And I love the fact that this coexisted with everything that's going on. Um, of course, y'all saw the cutting board. If you didn't, um, I was able to find a cutting board set. Um, a set of two. Uh, my client told me that his client is, um, they are cooks. They love to entertain. All of this. This type of information I get from them or get from from realtors at all times. I need to know more information about what these, what your customers love to do. So if you don't have any information, if you're a realtor, you don't have any information on what your clients like to do or what their interests are or anything like that. Baby, I don't think realtors is for you. It's not about just selling the house. It's about building a relationship. And my clients, I love my realtors. Because they build that relationship and they tell me, you know, things that they that I should add. And they tell me if they have a pet or, you know, or a, a, a child or what the age of the child is. So I can incorporate all that in there because you don't want to just give them a closing gift. You want to give them something that they're going to remember and, they, and that they're going to thank their realtor for giving them. Because the realtor not only thought about them, but they thought about the kids. They thought about their dogs. They thought about the cats. You know, so I do the, all of that. If I have to make a separate basket, give you this big this big one and make a separate basket for your pets or whatever, so be it. You know, you're going to get two baskets. Um, but I, my main focus is to always make the realtor look good because when the realtor look good, he gets to sell more houses because they pass the word. And everybody come to him to buy more houses and guess what? He comes to me for more gifts. So that's how we flow in. <laughs> it's not a selfish thing. I'm going to make him look good so he can make them look good. And then they can, you know, spread the word and hey, boom, we got some more baskets. That's all I'm saying. Um, but anyway, that's how I flow with that. And of course, y'all saw the basket, the awesome basket that I found. Um, I'm so grateful for Marshalls for being right there next door. Because this basket came out handy. And I love the fact that it has a top. Um, it's attached in the back. Let's see if I can raise it up with this stuff in it. But this is the basket I found. Um, and of course, it's going to be open like this. And I'm going to have everything coming out of it um, all nice and neat. Um, but yeah, so this is the haul that i got yesterday this is not the end most likely i'm probably gonna have to add a few more things um so i'm gonna go in my dollar general home decor stash and um add a few more things to it to you know make it stand out some more um but yeah so far this is the, the items that i chose i'm super happy about what i found and like i told y'all at the beginning of this video you gotta go between the two stores because you never know what the other store gonna have and hey as y'all can see marshall's came through for you girl it had more than Ross did, and I'm perfectly fine with that because the prices were great. And hey, we're about to get this show rolling. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next video. Peace.